Live, the news you count on, NBC2, News at 11. Got right about to my bedroom door, go to open the door, and a shot rings off. Right now at 11, bullets came inches from hitting that man in the head. Lee County deputies say a woman wasn't so lucky. She was sitting in a car when she was killed by crossfire. Deputies say she went to a home off Palm Beach Boulevard with Cody Richardson. Detectives say Richardson started fighting with people at a home before he fired shots. His intended target spoke exclusively with NBC2's Gage Goulding. He's sharing what led up to the shootout. I've known her my whole life, you know, and she was just a shame. She was a good girl. The bullets were never meant to hit her. Actually, they were fired at Curtis Spins. You well, I didn't see actually it. see the rifle. I seen, I just seen the scope, the reflection of it. I heard the, the bullet whiz by my ear before I heard the gunshot. Instead, Curtis says his lifelong friend, Amanda Edwards, was shot and killed. But the story starts more than a half hour before a gun was even brought out. Curtis was at his home Saturday evening when Amanda drove up with Cody Richardson in her car. He pulls up and uh, asking for me, wanting to fight, just wanting to get into an argument with someone. Curtis says for about 30 minutes, Cody sat in the front yard talking about guns and trying to start a fight. Next thing you know, he takes my phone off of the table and I asked him, I said, Cody, give me my phone back. He didn't give it back. Instead, Curtis says he started chasing him around with a machete. He proceeds to follow me around with it, chopping on some two by fours. This is where things turn even worse. Deputies say Richardson got his hands on a rifle from inside the home. He aimed it right at Curtis. As soon as I turn my back and go to walk off, I mean, it, the crack just went right by. It about dropped me to my knees. Hearing the commotion, another person that lives here came outside. He then fired rounds at my roommate. Curtis took off running while his friend and Richardson started shooting at one another. One of those bullets hit and killed Amanda sitting in the car. By this point, Curtis was already near the highway. When he turned around, he saw the man that just tried to shoot him flying out of the driveway and speeding down Palm Beach Boulevard. Rather than call 911 and do the right thing, you know, he tried to leave, flee the scene. Deputies say he made it to a friend's house on Packing House Road. That's where someone else called 911, but Amanda was already dead. Sad, tragic event. Richardson was arrested and now faces several charges, including second degree murder. Tonight, he's right where Curtis wants him to stay. Richardson's hopefully where he belongs, behind bars. Reporting in Elva, Gage Golding, NBC2.